Would you like to learn how you can utilize Google Sheet? That's right, Google Sheets to create dynamic websites for free. If you don't think that's possible in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you could do it. And it is extremely, extremely easy. So let's get right to it. Hey guys, welcome to Core with Mark, where I share helpful videos to help you become a professional web developer a lot faster. If you are interested in learning how to become a professional web developer a lot faster and learn technologies like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, PHP, MongoDB, MySQL, and others that are going to help you create amazing, awesome web development app, do consider subscribing to the channel. All right, so this is the website that is taking place on a Google platform. If you couldn't tell this little Google script, it says script.google.com and so on and so forth, the big ass uh, encrypted URL. This is based on Google's sheet. So let me show you exactly what we are gonna build and then we're gonna go on step-by-step step how you can replicate this particular uh, website for your own purpose, your project or whatever you need it to be. And so this is basically a very single page application and it has a home, about, contact, service, and in the contact form, let's say if you wanna enter some data in here to collect it from your data, from your user. So in here, we're just gonna assume we have a contact form and then we can just say name is Mark, email is Mark at gmail.com and testing one two three and this is my first test will be the message that we want to send and before i click on this send a message button i want to hop on over to the google sheet which is this right here i kind of modify a little bit so all the columns on the right hand side they're all gone deleted just so we can organize it a little bit and if you have watched my videos before you know like the things keeps organized so that way everything is there when i need it or when you follow my mess system you know you will get things when you need it so needless to say so we have about five columns you got the name email subject date and time that it was submitted. So right now there's nothing in here. So let me just zoom this in for you so you'll see. So we have zero entries. And in here, if I click on send message, it's gonna go and in here and voila. And right now I didn't program it where it will disappear all that stuff because I know it works and then that's fairly easy to do. But Let's go back here and now you will see this entry in here. So we'll just do one more time and the only thing we're gonna do is change the name to Mark 1 to, we'll just change it to Mark 2 for now and 2. And just to show you, it does work. And then we're gonna click on send message, boom. And then voila, here it is. And that is how it easy, how easy it is. So now you know that it, uh, let me just go in here. So here it is. So these are two entries that we just in here. And if we want, we can read them back in here into Google Sheet, but uh, that's fairly easy to do. So let's go on to see how is this actually built and how does it work and how most importantly you can incorporate into your project. All right, I just wanna give you a quick reminder that I have this special gift that's gonna help you you can get it at this URL. Don't forget to get it. And don't worry, I'm gonna leave a link in the description for you to make it easier. All right, now back to your video. So the thing that you need to do is you need to create a Google Sheet and then over here in the inst inst uh, extensions, that's right, <laughs> extensions. And this is where it's located at the time of this recording, maybe when you get to do it it might be somewhere different but nonetheless it's going to be somewhere in the menu and look for this call uh, option called apps script and from here we have this script it's just called code.jgs and then i have another one called uh, index.html and before we move forward 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to create this brand new sheet. So let's go over here and we'll just call a sheet just so we can replicate it and make sure we get the same results, right? So we'll call this test uh, V1, whatever. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy these literally and paste them in here. And then just for formatting purposes, I'll just go in the format, actually view and freeze the first row. And then from here, I'll just leave all the columns on the left hand side and then delete them. And now we have sheets that looks something similar to this. And that's all. So another thing what I would do is when you are formatting it, as uh, far as your column goes, because what Google Sheet does is to help you out, it automatically formats it to what it thinks you want the column to be. But instead, I think you should go to format and then format it to plain text. Sometimes it's automatic, so sometimes when you have a number, it's going to try to put a number and then or if it's a text, then a text. So automatic does not work all the time. So I would just say plain text. And that is that. And then next thing, what we're going to do is we're going to go over to extensions app script and then when you open this up for the very first time you want to see something like this we have a code.js so i'm going to delete this and then i'm going to hop on over here and then copy everything from here and don't worry i will leave a link in the description for you to copy and paste it makes it easier for you to incorporate it into your projects so paste it in here and let's walk through it. What do we actually have? So the sheet connect, this is like your MySQL when you want to connect to your database. This is basically what it is. So the only thing that you want to do, see this ID here? You want to go to your sheet and it will be right here, right after the spreadsheet D is starting from one all the way up until the forward slash. So copy that, come in here and paste it and save it. That is that. So what is going to, in short, is going to say is go to this sheet and connect to it so I can go and further process it. And then I'm going to name the sheet by whatever I want to call it. So this is your SQL connection to the database. In this case, your database is your Google Sheet. So one thing, just replace the ID and it will work like a charm. And second thing, which I did not include it in this part of the project, but you do have the option to uh, go in here and get the user ID. So this is part of the Google Apps script, or as some people call it, gas. But they don't want to call it gas, but some people call it gas. So this will allow you to get the active user uh, email address, meaning whoever created the sheet. So that will come in handy. And then this part is the first thing it's going to run when your HTML page loads up. And the title of the page will be this. And this uses the Google's iframe platform iframe script where it loads it up in the iframe so it works great and everything else so if i were you i would just copy this and i'll show you what to do so what i did was made it easy for you so the main screen which will be the index so we're just going to create another file called html index html so how do you do that you go over here to plus click on it and then instead of script you click on click on html M L. Click on it, another window thing will pop up. And from here, you're going to type in eight index, and that's it. And we're automatically going to uh, add the extension as HTML. And from here, this is where the magic happened. You can literally include any static HTML in here. If you want, you can call external library, which is great it's just like it's mind-blowing when i discovered this and when i was working on one of the project it was like wow it's in incredible so then what we're going to do is we're going to delete all this because this is just some basic basic html 
So we're gonna hop on over to our H index HTML and copy in here. And this is like a regular uh, HTML. Basically what it does is gives you this nice little forms. You can go through a navigation. So I'm not gonna go too much into the HTML, but what I will go through is uh, some of the things like library wise, whatever. So we have our bootstrap, we have our jQuery, and then bootstrap uh, JS, and I also included moment JS for you. And this is just show you how powerful this technique is where you can literally include any library into Google's app script. So this is how you include it, just like you would in your regular static HTML page. And then you got your regular HTML, and then over here, and then you can call it your regular jQuery like you would in your regular, basically it's your regular web page transfer over here. The only, only different thing that I will go into it is how you send data from your HTML over to your Google Sheet. And it, it's the same concept as if you were to do it like a jQuery Ajax request or JavaScript Ajax request. It's just that in Google App Script, it has its own Ajax built-in function and it is so easy to use. So this is the function that it needs to be called. So this line over here, you literally just copy and paste it. And then at the end of, like this name, this will be the name of the function that you have called in your code dot gs. So in here, I called it uh, add new contact and it can accept ver uh, your arrays, whether it be a JSON array or uh, your JSON object or a single string, whatever you wanna pass through it, it will pass through here. So in this case, what I'm doing is I'm passing this JSON object, which has a username coming from the form and just for hell of it, I'll go over here. So this is my input for a form, email, subject, message, and then this is a button. And once again, not going too much into it because the most important part is showing you how you can incorporate your regular static HTML into Google Apps Script. So moving on, so this just creates your regular JSON object. And then over here, I just use the moment uh, JS to format the entry date and time. So in other words, when somebody clicks on send message, it's gonna sign whatever the timestamp is at that time. And then this uh, JSON object gets passed in here and this function is part of the code.gs. Let's go over here. And in here, this is one function basically. So whenever this gets called, that JSON object gets pulled in here. And remember when I said earlier, the sheet connect is like literally connecting to your sheet. And in here, uh, your database, which is in essence is your sheet. So let's say you have this sheet named contact, but I didn't call contact in here. So I can have whatever the name of the sheet is here. So in this case, it's sheet one. I come over here, paste it. And that's it. So whatever sheet that I want to connect within the workbook of the Google Sheets, that's the name of it. And then after that, it's pretty straightforward. You can actually uh, disregard this. You don't need it because the way that we are connecting to the sheet, so we're good there. So I'm gonna save this. And what I would recommend is I will just name this project something that you will remember. So I'll just call it uh, test v1 gas all right so from here this is the json object coming from the html via the ajax request but ajax is from the google app script ajax function and then over here we're connecting the sheet one and then i'm assigning this data form data into this d1 and then from here um, uh, taking the ajax object and putting it into an ajax array by putting it in here and I'm only including the value and I'm getting the username, email, subject, message, and user date. So just to go back in here, so this will be this, 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 and this. 
So we go back here and that's where it is. And once it has this uh, array, and then I'm connected to the sheet one, and there is this built-in Google Apps Script uh, function, which will automatically add this for us. So we don't have to write additional functions, which is incredible. So once uh, you put that in here, it's called append role. It's very easy to remember. And you put the role, which will be your uh, JSON array, put in here, and then it will add it. And bada bing, bada boom, here it is. So another thing, what we gotta do is before we can go ahead and use this. So I'm gonna close out the other windows just so there is no confusion. So I'll save it one more time. And then there's blue button right here at the moment of this recording, that is where it is at. So we gotta click on this, click on new development, and then go over here and then web apps app. And then from there, you can say just for myself, if it's just you're doing something private, you could just put it in here. Or if you could say, I want it for anyone who can access this. So we can name this just V1 for now, and then click on develop. And then it's gonna take a couple of seconds. And as you can tell, it's loading. It may take a few seconds or so, and while it's waiting, so let me know in the comments below if you so far digging this. If you are, consider subscribing to the channel. And also, there's a link in the description for you to go check out that free gift that I have for you that's gonna help you take your web development skill to the next level. And once again, uh, in here, before we can go further, we have to authorize this Google Apps Script to do the things that we want it to do. So you gotta click on this authorize access. And then this thing is gonna come up in the email. And sometimes this warning does come up. What I would say, just click on advanced and just go on to the next part and then allow it. And once this is done, then we can rock and roll. So this is your, what they call it is your live version because it has an E, X, E, C next to it. And the reason being is because every time you want to create another version, you can just go into the same process like a day, create a develop and all that stuff. And then you could just, your code will work. However, if you want to be a lazy way, <laughs> there's a, there is a lazy way, which is you just go to develop and then go to test development. And then grab this URL, you can just click on it, it will take you to it and bada boom, bada bing, here it is. So as you can see right now, there's nothing in here. And if I go into contact and then I will type in code with mark code gmail.com and then code testing one, two, three. And this is a test one, two, three and then dot 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 code with mark perfect and then click on mm, send message but before i do it just to make sure there's nothing here and let's send it one two three and voila here it is so there you have it fairly easy very simple but at the same time very very powerful if you truly enjoy this video make sure you know what to do and i'll see you in the next video